Hey people, what's up y'all? So to be honest, I'm pleasantly surprised that you still watch my video episode. I really uh, adore um, spending my time just to making and reviewing and tutorial videos for you. So today we're gonna do the same. This is not an exception. We will work with the Squarespace editor. So I will tell you what is it, how it works, uh, main features. So actually this video will be uh, a little bit reviewing, a little bit tutorial. So I'm not a professional, but I would like to uh, tell you about this editor. So continue. So you know Squarespace is a well-known and respected product. Of course, I would say that this is one of the best website builder stories. Um, but uh, you know, functionality is really good. Uh, in places it surprises with the depth of collaboration and nuances, but in general, it does not make any kind of revolution. So it's very simple. Uh, in using and we have three plans so first plan is about $12 per month the second one is about 18 and the third one is $26 per month and you know uh, actually it has many templates and the templates are so gorgeous modern up to date and you know you can browse uh, templates by category and industry if you like so basically each template comes with pictures and layouts specially designed to match the industry it was made for so let's check it Actually, we're gonna uh, have right here at this bottom of templates, yep, and um, uh, the, the categories. So basically, we have online store, portfolio, blog, foods, events, restaurants, travel, entertainment, weddings, real estate, and properties. So basically, these are all uh, from this uh, templates. And let's check, for example, um, this template, Previa Vandem. And actually, what I can say, um, one more thing uh, that we have right here at Squarespace, uh, three kinds uh, of designs. So actually, the de designs are adaptive. Well, basically, right here, we got three uh, kinds of designs. First of all, this is the desktop, this is for the tablet, and this is for the mobile phone. So basically, that is how they look like for the tablet, so we can check the borders are shorter. Yep, uh, the next one uh, for the mobile devices is very thin, I would say. So, actually, let's go back and uh, let's check the other templates. For example, um, for example, I would say, I don't know, Barbosa. Why not? So, let's check this preview. So, uh, actually, let's start from uh, the desktop version. Basically, that is how it looks like. So, actually, we have many sections. Yep. And um, uh, let's view a demo side, how it looks like, a full demo. So, we got it on our desktop. So, for me, it looks nice. And to be honest, I adore a uh, part with the templates because we can check we can see gorgeous uh, templates with uh, beautiful images with a beautiful i would say skeleton of this template so all uh, right here this is well made for me this is my opinion so i guess that we will start uh, our um, review with this uh, template so i'm basically clicking directly to this button we will start our work with um, the editor so I'm actually what we got right here. This is almost the editor right here. We have uh, on the left side of our desktop uh, cool tools, which are responsible uh, for our uh, actually template. So the first section is responsible for the uh, layout of pages. So basically, uh, adding to the plus design, we can add some pages. For example, links, some portfolio, store, blog layouts, and others. And here we got one, two, three, four, four sections actually. Uh, so um. So on the next one we got design. So design is responsible for fonts, colors, animations, some bottoms, some lock screen. So basically working with the fonts, we can change the fonts, we can change the size, we can change the headings, all the buttons. So basically you can work of course right here. Uh, also working with, uh, for example, we can add the animation if we would like to right here, for example, this one or just to, uh, yeah, right here, uh, save all the settings, uh, the next about the designs, um, 
animation trees and buttons, image, image blocks. So, oh, I forgot the color. So, actually, we have the color palette for this website, but for example, we can add it, this color palette, or we can just uh, to uh, search uh, the other section themes. But you know, the best, I guess, is the gray one. So, let's say for the settings. We can uh, change some browser icons, so that is how you can work uh, right here. So talking about the commerce, talking about the marketing, uh, I would say that is very well made right here because you know you have almost what do you need for your website if you would like to uh, represent your product if you sell something yep so that's what you can check you have guiding checkout payments so some wait lists uh, some uh, everything about the orders some customers discounts so you have to work right here in details uh, talking about uh, marketing right here we got this is also a very interesting thing because you can uh, here create your personal main campaign some uh, promotional ad pop-ups announcement bars you know and I can tell you that CEO is very strange right here because you know there are integrations with the social networks such as Twitter Facebook Pinterest and others so actually you can post products on uh, Pinterest or Instagram continuous uh, revision of alt and connection of new marketing tools yep and of course uh, when it comes to see you everything is fine right here because we have the ability to customize URLs using 301 redirects connecting a sitemap editing media tags and of course adding media tags on images and pages so everything right here is really um, is really good so talking about the analytics is uh, analytics is powerful right here oh my god this is multi-level and includes statistics on sales so it includes everything, traffic, geography of visitors, but uh, never mind, never mind, because right here we have all the zeros, you know, but this is the template, this is not a website, yep. So actually this is really nice that we have right here many tools uh, also. Uh, so actually we have main settings, but we will uh, continue our editing, for example, uh, this uh, uh, template. And uh, what I can say, so basically we got right here many sections. So actually each um, template uh, consists of many sections. So that is how you can work right here uh, with uh, the Squarespace. Actually Squarespace, you know, is much more straightforward than the Wix, than the lead pages, because lead pages and Wix, uh, I would say that um, this is drag and drop editor, yep. And um, you know, well, we can uh, drag and drop successfully some elements on Wix, for example. We can do this, unfortunately, uh, in Squarespace, but uh, I wouldn't say that this is, you know, unfortunately or fortunately, it depends on your taste. Uh, how it uh, will it better for you to work in this way or in the other way, for example. Uh, so, um, <laughs> uh, right here we work directly with the section actually. So, it looks like in WordPress. So, if you are used to work in WordPress, so that will be um, also not so difficult to work with um, uh, with the Squarespace. So, um, clicking directly to the uh, header, uh, we have settings. So, basically, we're gonna work simultaneously with the desktop, with the mobile device, so with the template. Yeah, uh, the next one we can uh, upload uh, the logo. Yeah, and of course, we have uh, we can change right here. So, uh, we can change actually site title, some elements, colors. For example, we can add bottom uh, or just delete this bottom. Yeah, that is how it looks like. Mm, so actually, we have right here some options and uh, working with these options, we have what well, we got um, actually right here. And now it looks like uh, collecting the puzzles. So I'm talking about the tags, what I can say. Clicking directly to the tags, we have a menu, so it looks like in WordPress. And we can change right here the paragraphs, uh, so um, headings. So basically we have some options and we select the options that we like on the template. Yep. Uh, the location, of course, how it looks like. Yep. Or for example, uh, we have sections right here in the menu section. So basically we can make it medium, large, for example. Yep. Like this, this, or just in this way, or in maybe in this. Um, the same, the location. Yep. Uh, how it looks like 
of course talking about the background we can add some image or just change the color so it may be uh, white and maybe white ball like this this so let's do in this way and basically what we got right here by the way between the sections we have the bottom of section so click in bottom to add section we have the list of uh, these uh, sections where we can add and basically it may be from the headline till the list till the donation for some products some tour dates some calendars some locations for example maybe location me up and let's do the same step so between two uh sections we right here there will be um, a location so um, actually that is what we got right here this section of location the next section we got with the image and all the same so clicking directly to the element we will uh, change the text clicking directly to the bottom we can add uh, we can change the bottom but okay from the bottom not right here um, till right here in the this is the image editor okay and um, um, um I don't want to change oh here we have here we have uh, mm, added section and basically this is responsible for the format for the colors for uh, actually what we can do it right here so to make it medium small for example yep large so actually that is how it looks like yep and actually what we can do right here uh, so we have actually um, image we can uh, change a design right here of the content so talking about the bottom we can add some link talking about the text uh, we have we can uh, add some links we can add it in right position yep um, so the next about the animations so it may be like this animation or right here or just no animation yep so this is the content and that is how you work with um, the content uh, so <laughs> an image so for example i deleted a bottom and we don't have right here at this bottom so we have only the image and we have only uh the content i would say so basically or if you don't like this section at all or this just one which i uh add it about uh, the location so we can directly to this design i remove it and that is what we got so basically that right here you that is how you should work uh with um this uh, with this editor so clicking directly to the footer we have all the same elements clicking directly to the elements you can uh, work such with the text right here right here or this we can add some social links yep or just change uh, the th this design of uh, in the center for example of this uh, uh, social social accounts so it may be large or it may be small let it be small yep and let it be circle so in this way yep save all the settings um well i guess that this is the end of our reviewing video and to tell you the truth about the pros about the advan advantages of the squarespace i can tell uh, you that it has the application a mobile application where you can edit uh, your website directly via the mobile phone so just you need to successfully deploy it to your mobile device and what i can say that this is the end of our video app I wish you good luck with practice with uh, the Squarespace editor with uh, this website builder service. I'm waiting for your comments as usual. I'm waiting for your personal opinion. What do you think about my videos? What do you think about actually this website builders? Maybe you will advise me the other one. So thank you for your attention and see ya in another video. So good luck. Bye.